Hey guys, Verblunger95, recording live from Loka County Prison Cell. Um, so I've recently been running out of uh, stuff to do. A little bit of inside to the to the thing I'm doing right now, yeah. Um, I've been running out of stuff, and don't please don't send me any suggestions. That sort of defeats the purpose of me doing this the way I do. But this basically means when I'm running out of ideas, I have to scrape the bottom of the barrel for things like this. This fight is the Fantastic Four versus the Incredibles. Wow. Okay. Um. So I gotta rev I gotta do eight to nine characters about. So let's rush through this. Uh, the thing. Start with him. Good place to start. Um, you know, hard rock exterior with the, you know, so that durability and all that. You know, oh, it takes place. Yeah, whatever. Made of rock. Not made of rock, but his skin is essentially rock. Um, gotta be honest, though. Very low tier. And I hate tier lists, but very low tier super strength character. Like... Like, when you look at the Marvel, like, list for characters with super strength, you go, like, what? The Hulk, uh, uh, Gladiator, Thor, Juggernaut, Hyperion, uh, you know, all the, all the, like, and then, like, 300 spots down, you get Luke K, you get Power Man, uh, Colossus, the thing. He's very not super strengthy. You know? Like, it's like when you need a superhuman character, when you need a super strong character, but you don't need him to be really super strong, you put the thing in. I know I'm underselling him a lot, but he's not, he, he re, that's really him when you take him into the entirety of the Marvel Universe. <clears throat> Invisible girl slash woman. Go on to her. Um, uh, yeah, you know... Almost as smart as Reed Richards, um, which is impressive considering he is the smartest man in the Marvel Universe. Um, so yeah, that comes to mean like, okay, well, as her name would suggest invisibility, as her name would not suggest energy blasts, invisible energy blasts, and force fields that she could extend pretty much to any capacity. So... I mean, there's more to it, and her powers have really been sort of like a, ooh, calm down, they're dangerous. Like, her power, her powers are also tied to her emotions, so the angrier she gets, the more uncontrollable, but more powerful her, her powers get. But, you know, that's, her powers have always been sort of like a, they've always sort of had a question mark slash warning sign on, on them, so, yeah. Then we go into Johnny, pretty simple. He flies, fire, next. You know, he's fucking Johnny Storm. He's, he, he's very rarely funny, and he's always a dick. So, the fact that he's dead isn't really a great loss. But, or has he, has Johnny been brought back to life? I haven't, I haven't really kept up with that. Then, Mr. Fantastic. Really arrogant name for somebody who stretches. Mr. Fantastic! You, he sounds like a, a Superman ripoff, but nope, stretches. I mean, granted, like I said, he is the smartest man in the Marvel Universe, but he stretches. Now let's move on to the Incredible. Mr. Incredible! Actually fits his name with his superhuman attributes. I mean, yes, it's just strength, but I mean, yeah. I mean, the guy is... Definitely superhuman. Um, still has to condition himself to obtain a physique, unlike a lot of superhuman characters. Uh, he's still super strong regardless, but like if he actually wants to look good and be in shape, he uh, has to actually exercise, which is weird how that works. But, um, yeah. I mean, this guy has accidentally ripped car doors off of hinges, but... Then again, the thing has done similar things. Um, I 
I mean, again, clear cut. Ooh, did you hear that? Fuck. Clear cut. There's a lot of um. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty simple how this guy operates. Uh, Elastigirl, as her name, she actually has her power, which is Mr. Fantastic. Her her super flexibility actually is represented in her name. Isn't that weird? Um. Yeah. So. Super stretchy, uh, actually can, yeah, so she can stretch herself, inflate herself, just like Mr. Fantastic, basically. Moving on. Violet, or I'm gonna call it, well, I'd like to call her Violet, but V apparently is supposed to mean something with her powers, which is the same as Sue's, the invisibility and force field. I don't think she can do the energy blast, but, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna call her V, I guess, better than when I forgot her name before I looked it up. This is my second time recording this episode, and, uh, because I messed it up the first time, and you guys know I hate recording things, so that, or hate recording things twice, that is. Um, so, but the first time around, I was just calling her goth bitch, so, uh, I got a chance to look her up, because I forgot her name, what her name was. Uh, so V, yeah, again, just invisibility and fucking force fields. Uh, I, she did cover a plane with her force field once, but pretty sure Sue Storm covered the city of the island of Manhattan, uh, with hers, so, yeah, um, Dash, that's the wild card here, well, not really, but he's the one that doesn't have a cover, he's the one that's not covered by anyone, uh, you know, so... Yeah, but then again, he can't really... I mean, he, he can run superhumanly fast. Uh, nothing... Nothing like... Quicksilver level? I don't think he's faster than the speed of sound, but definitely a few hundred miles an hour. He's fast enough to walk on, to run on water. Which, for any other super speed character, is like... Alright. Um... He can't fight, though, so he's going to be the first to die, uh, effectively. His super speed's going to contribute, like, nothing to his his actual being, you know? Like, pretty much, the whole time, he was the one playing keep away. Like, that was his... That was his, essentially, function in the, in the boss battle. He just played keep away with the controller. Um, and then... The big question on everyone's mind, would Jack-Jack be allowed in this fight? Uh, because Jack-Jack not only covers Johnny with the whole fire ability, but also volunteers, or also lends, um, being able to turn into metal, being able to shoot lasers, being able to levitate and, uh, pa turn intangible, being able to have this weird monster form thing. So yeah, he covers all of that. Um, but here's a weird little thing. If Jack-Jack would be allowed in this fight, wouldn't Franklin Richards be allowed in the Fantastic Four fight? And if Jack-Jack and Franklin Richards get together, we all lose. Not only in the sense that we have to watch literally two fucking children fight, but also the fact that one can manipulate reality and one has, like, every fucking power, so... Yeah. Um... Then again, how many members of the Fantastic... For the people called the Fantastic Four, there's been a shit ton of people on the route. We've had She-Hulk, we've had Namor to some extent, we've had Crystal... I mean, granted, that, that was all to replace a member, like, that, that was... They never had more than four members without Franklin being included. I mean, with the exception of Franklin, because was he really a member at the time? So, yeah, um, but... Let's put it this way. I want to say, I mean, even not being that superhumanly strong, I think the thing has done more than Mr. Incredible has. 
Mr. Fantastic has done more than Elastigirl. Uh, actually, no, in the actual DVD slash Blu-ray files of all the character bios of all the heroes, I believe it said Elastigirl's meteor, uh, and this I didn't look up. This I just remember from owning the DVD. It said Elastigirl's limit in terms of stretchiness is 30 meters. Mr. Fantastic has definitely done more than that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... Like I said, Susan Storm's powers have greatly been able to outclass V's, and uh, nobody covers Dash, but Johnny would probably end up killing Dash, to be honest. <clears throat> the two annoying characters are going to die first. Johnny and Dash are going to die. Uh, uh, would Johnny be able to fight Jack-Jack? Probably not, actually. I would think Jack-Jack might beat Johnny, but it's a question for another thing. Like... We're not going to go any farther into this, because, like, we're not going to have Frozone and fucking Namor or Cri Frozone and Crystal come into play here. Mainly just because Crystal has all of his powers plus three more, so whatever. But, yeah, Fantastic Four, I definitely think, takes this. This, To be honest, I don't think anyone actually wants to see this fight. I just think it's fun to draw the comparison. The Incredibles was a much better movie than the Fantastic Four ever was. If you want me to go there. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, I would say Fantastic Four wins, though. Um, I'll try to have something for... Well, I'm gonna have the Green Arrow Hawkeye. I'm gonna, or I'm gonna have whatever happens after Green Arrow Hawkeye happens, so... Whatever. Uh, but anyway... Verbal Engine 95, see ya.